2014's Interstellar is about a group of scientists who go out to find a breathable and, and uh, livable planet to ensure humanity's uh, survival that they need to uh, leave Earth because of its, you know, dying crops. I'm just going to come right out of the gate and say this. Uh, again, perfect movie from Christopher Nolan. I just... I absolutely love everything about Interstellar. This is probably Hans Zimmer's best score. I just absolutely love it. A lot of people say that he basically fell asleep on the organ. I don't think that's the case. Uh, but I, I, I just love the score in this movie. It's, it's very unique, and I, it just fits really well with this movie. It also has some really great dialogue. The movie's just shy of three hours long. And the dialogue just keeps it going the entire runtime, and I just thought it was really impressive uh, of the movie to do that. It's also got some really good performances, uh, especially from Matthew McConaughey. We also got some from uh, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Chastain, Casey Affleck. All these people are really great actors, and they were really, really good in this movie. And the one thing that I just absolutely love about this movie is its visuals. It's breathtaking to take it in just when they're in space, when they're on these different planets. I'm speechless. It's it's probably the best visuals of any movie ever. It is phenomenal. Uh, I watched this, uh, you know, uh, on my TV on Blu-ray with the lights off and it just looked phenomenal. It was just breathtaking to take in, and I just, I can't praise this movie enough for how amazing it looks. You guys already saw this coming. I'm going to give Interstellar 10 out of 10. Another solid movie from Christopher Nolan. Let's hope Dunkirk also gets 10 out of 10 to keep the streak going. I'm definitely looking forward to Dunkirk. I'm seeing that tomorrow. Let's hope it's good. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.